I know what you're saying. Who the hell's Fang Zhang? Uh, I know you know who Elon Musk is. He's the major player in the EV revolution, projected to be a $1 trillion industry by 2030. Well, Fang Zhang is the patent holder on CRISPR. He's the one of the major players in the genome sequencing, genome editing industry, which is projected to be a $20 trillion industry before it's over, and that'll be somewhere around 2035. So is Fing becoming another Elon? No, I think he might be even going beyond Elon. Let me share with you uh, exactly what he's up to, and I want to bring in some technology to help me do that. Watch this right after I tell you I'm not your financial advisor. Advisor. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. Fong Zhang is at it again. I introduced you to Fong over a year ago, he's the guy that holds the CRISPR patent and the founder of CRISPR-Cas9 genetic editing technology. He also co-founded first-generation CRISPR company Adidas Medicine, Edit, and second-generation CRISPR company Beam Therapeutics, Beam. And in the last few days we're learning more about Zhang's latest CRISPR company, ERA Therapeutics. ERA has been in stealth mode since its founding in 2021. There's been very little information about the company. But that's starting to change, in the last few days ERA has hired two high-profile executives to help lead the company. One was the head of oncology at Alnylam Pharmaceuticals. The other was Alnylam's founding CEO. This is telling. For two reasons, first, the fact that ERA plucked Alnylam's head of oncology suggests that the company plans to focus on therapies that could cure forms of cancer. Second, Alnylam specialized in a technology called RNA interference, RNAi. RNAi is designed to deliver medicines directly to cells to stop them from producing certain proteins that cause disease. And RNAi tech has proven to be a successful approach. In fact, Alnylam has grown into a $26 billion biotech company on the back of this tech. So, it stands to reason that ERA Therapeutics wants to incorporate RNAi technology into its own approach. In addition, we know that Zhang has developed a new approach to genetic editing called SEND. That stands for, Selective Endogenous Encapsidation for Cellular Delivery. SEND focuses on delivering medicines directly to cells. And it has the potential to expand the universe of diseases that can be treated by genetic editing technology. Put it all together and we may be looking at what is effectively a fourth-generation CRISPR company here. If ERA Therapeutics successfully combines CRISPR, RNAi, and SEND technology, it's safe to say the company is skipping over the third generation entirely and pioneering an approach that's never been tried before. It goes without saying that this is absolutely a company to watch going forward. And ERA is launching with an impressive $193 million venture capital raise backed by Arch Venture Partners, Google Venture, and Lux Capital. Arch is one of the best early-stage biotech venture firms, and Lux is known for being very early in investing in breakthrough technologies. And I'm excited about what Zhang and ERA are going to accomplish with CRISPR and its novel delivery system. The whole genome sequencing and editing field is heating up, if this is not a part of your investment in the future it should be, do your due diligence and pick your stocks carefully. Now I'll turn it back over to Kerry. Okay, so that's my introduction to you, to Fong, as well as to my avatar. I'm going to use my avatar on a regular basis because he does a better job of explaining some of the very detailed elements of um, what's going on in this world. But I think the, the key message here is that the healthcare revolution is upon us. Uh, it was set back as a result of the coronavirus because a lot of the pe people didn't want to go to hospitals and be involved in clinical studies. So now we are moving into the area of where the um, Federal Drug Administration, FDA, is approving testing of this technology, of this science. And Fong is right in the in the thick of it. As you can see, he is involved in multiple companies. Why is he doing that? Well, I think he's recognizing that he can build a tower here, a business here, a business there, and then he is has a choice of either to sell it to big pharma or to build it out to its 
its fruition, to its its potential. Either way, he is going to, I think he's got a big enough ego that he wants to be seen as the major player in this. Who are the other major players? Well, that's going to be uh, Jennifer Doudna and Emmanuel Carpentier. They actually beat the saying out of Fong out of the patent rights. Now, what does that mean? That means on any development in the future in this genome sequencing CRISPR arena, he's going to get a dividend. Think about, or a royalty. Think about that if Elon Musk had a patent on all future electric vehicles. Would that be worth more than Tesla? Probably it would if, in fact, we go in the direction that we think we are. So you have to pay attention to these three people. Now, where does uh, Jennifer and Emmanuel fit into this? They have uh, their companies, which you see who they are, um, that are also developing therapies in this field. Think of it as this way. There are a number of pharmaceutical companies. Each one of them have an area of specialty where they control a major drug. That's what's going to happen in genome therapy and genome editing. Now, the other element of it is before that science can take place, you need to know what's going on in your body. Do you have any mutations? A mutation is a mistake in your body's uh, cell makeup that you've inherited from your ancestors. And that mistake gives you the propensity to have cancer, to have heart disease, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, you name it, the things that kill us. So if you then can take that out of the body, you'll live substantially longer. It's kind of like a, a car. If you take the mistake, the broken parts out of the car, the car can probably live for 200,000, maybe even uh, 500,000 miles. That's what's going to happen in the human body. And that's why this is anywhere from a, uh, a 10 to a $20 trillion industry. We really don't know yet. The other element of it is we're just talking about the human body. There are cells in every living thing, everything from from crops to animals to, to vegetation. It, and if you can alter those cells, you can make wheat grow without the amount of water that it normally needs. You can make uh, cattle more beefy to give you a bigger T-bone steak. So this has many ramifications. And that's when I say that this is a 20 trillion or greater industry it, it is immense. It's, it's, it, it really is bigger than anything we have seen in the past. And I have basically made a strong commitment about starting about two years ago. Here are my holdings right now. I will be watching uh, Zhang's moves in the future and his current in investments to make sure that I'm in a position, I honestly believe, of my portfolio and this health care, those stocks I just showed you represent 27% of my portfolio. I believe this is the biggest winner I'm going to have in my lifetime. I believe that the world is going to recognize this is this is bigger than the digital revolution. This is bigger than the EV revolution. And these are the major players, and these are the companies that they own. And so I want to be invested in them. I encourage you to do the same. Uh, but do your due diligence. This is this is a area of study. I think the the best thing you can do to learn more about it is read this book. Uh, this is The Code Breaker. It's by Walter Isaacson. That's Jennifer Doudna on the cover. And it's really kind of a, her life story and her her involvement. But through the book, she introduces you to the other players. And you get to know them. And you get to know how they all fit in together and where this, where this is going. Is there going to be a winner and loser in it? I'm sure there are. I'm sure there the portfolio I just showed you is going to expand, contract, expand as I move forward. And I and and I think I'm pretty educated on what 
CRISPR is and what genome therapy and genome editing and, and genome sequencing is, what I need to stay attuned to, and I encourage you to stay with the channel and subscribe, and I'll share my knowledge with you as it grows, is who are going to be the major players and who who is going to take this to the next level and how do they all interrelate to each other. So that's my take. Uh, I enjoyed using an avatar because I'm trying my best to keep current with the world that we live in today and more importantly that we will live in tomorrow. We are going to see, I've said this before, we, have, we are going to see more change in uh, the way the world works and the way our economy works and how we live in the next 10 to 15 years than we did in the preceding 200. That means that takes in the invention of the automobile, the airplane, the telephone, the, the, the mobile phone, the, uh, the, the internet. Within 15 years, that's all going to look different. Um, and I think if you keep that in mind and, and look beyond the noise that you hear every day about interest rates, about inflation, uh, about unemployment, none of us are going to be employed. I, I, I need to ask me the other day, why is it that they can't find people to work? We went into a restaurant and they, they didn't have enough people to wait on the tables. So I said, because people are finding employment elsewhere. I get letters every day of someone who is saying, I want to help you do this within your business and grow your business on the skills that I've developed. One of them wrote me yesterday and said, I live in Kansas. I, 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 I have a small farm that I farm. And then I work with uh, YouTubers and social media marketers to help build their business. Well, that didn't exist five years ago. People learn skills that involve the internet, that, that, are, that are going to involve the healthcare system and going to change our world dramatically. So the, the, the market is going to go through some tough times. Uh, just dispense your investments across a range that takes you into big tech. Big tech will continue to, to be strong uh, because they can't be replaced. And then I believe you need to pay attention to what Vladimir Putin and Xi Jinping are doing and how our defense industry is changing to adapt to their aggressive behaviors. And then build yourself some, some dividend stocks so that you have a diversified portfolio, but be looking to the future. The future is where it lies. Okay, I'm Kerry Grinkmeyer. I'm a retired financial advisor. I like to share my knowledge every day on this YouTube channel. I'm also diversing. I'm going to put 5% uh, of my portfolio in um, alternative investments, and I have picked uh, exotic or what would you say, rare whiskeys. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I'm going to uh, grow, and I want to communicate with you on two levels. One, if you want to communicate with me, come to my Twitter account. Here's the, 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 the handle on that. And then come to our Best of Us Investors group. The, the, the uh, communication on, on YouTube um, through comments is crap. You and I both know it. It's full of spam. So I'm going to, to move that communication level over to my Facebook group. I'll put a link to that in the description as well. And let's work together. This investing should be a team sport, and let's play together. And I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Mm -hmm.